Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are enjoying your day. My name is Stephen Schaefer, and welcome to the Anywhere blog. All right, so I wanted to talk to you about traveling today. It's a very exciting day. So, I hope you're having an excellent day. My name is Stephen Schaefer. Welcome to AnywhereBlog.net. I know I gave the introduction, but there's nothing wrong with introducing twice. Today we're going to be answering another question. This one's from Reddit. Uh, I just said I would answer it on video. I think it'll be a lot more fun. So, let's get right down to brass tacks, my friend. Thank you. Let's see. This question is from a user named Glaub. This is G-L-A-U-B-E. So... Globe or glob. It says, What made you do it? Seems stupid, but ever since watching Into the Wild, this type of thing is very attractive to me. But I'd really like to know a bit of backstory to your life that finally made you pick up your tent and just go. Okay, so this is an interesting question. We're talking today about motivation and why um, going and hitchhiking would be on your radar as possible life choices. Well, for me personally, I would say it's a combination of things. I would say, one, it's a combination of um, seeing a film called Hump Day about two straight men who decided to make a gay porn together. Long story short, uh, one of them was a traveler, and I thought to myself, you know, I, n I never I had never imagined the idea of a, um, uh, what's it called, a, a full-time traveler, and to me that idea was so romantic and appealing. Immediately, uh, I had a conversation with my friend, uh, my roommate at the time, and I said, I want to do this, and he was like, do it! And so the next day, I gave my two weeks notice, and two weeks later, I was I was gone. And um, so that's the, the, the more, um, the basic idea, that's the, uh, the, the not so deep part. But when it comes down to it, I think, I don't really know because I'm always learning new motivations, especially towards past events. I seem to know all the motivations of other people, but I don't seem to ever know the motivations of myself until later, it seems. That's not true. A lot of the times, and especially back in those days, I don't understand the motivations until later, having given it some new thought. But, um... I think it was a combination of loving the idea and not loving the life I was living at the time and knowing, you know, it's it's not hitchhiking. Hitchhiking isn't the thing that'll free you. The thing is philosophy. The thing is a love of truth, right? And I knew my home life was bad. I knew that my parents were not good people and I knew that I was not living a life that was... Uh, incongruent with a lot of the values I was putting out there. Incongruent? Is that the... I hope that's the right thing to say because I don't like to sound stupid. Um, it happens from time to time, though, let's be honest. And, uh, <laughs> so, uh, you know, I knew I wasn't living... I had these lofty ideas and... Well, not lofty, they are good ideas, but I wasn't, I wasn't going out and actually uh, <laughs> living them. I was, you know, I, I was like, yeah, people should be great and awesome. Not should, but it's, I, I highly prefer for people to be awesome, but I was working at a shoe store, you know. So there was definitely that aspect, and knowing that I didn't really know where to start. Like, I knew my family were not, was not good people, and I knew that my, um, my life at that point was not exciting or interesting to me, you know, fundamentally to me. And so I wanted to go out and I wanted to go do something that just shook it all up. And to me, I saw hitchhiking as the kind of thing that you don't need a lot of capital to go do. You can go see a lot of great things, get a lot of great information, go get a good education, and then, you know, when you feel ready, come back. You know, and we're going to be talking about coming back into the real world in another video. But anyway, <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. Um, I, I thought, you know, it would be... The, the perfect way to just go and completely change everything I understood before then. And it was. It was a very helpful thing to do. Now also, what it also did, which I wasn't preparing for at the time, was it gave me enough time to think. I had enough leisure time, leisure time that I didn't even know was possible for me to, to enjoy. 
I had the leisure time and the capabilities for leisure to think when my whole life I had just been bouncing from one thing to another, from to another, to another. This gave me the ability to just like have enough time to sit and think and get to know myself, which is so important to get to know ourselves. Now, obviously this doesn't replace therapy. This doesn't replace um, uh, uh, like good self-knowledge. Well, okay. It, it doesn't necessarily contradict therapy or self-knowledge either, but it, it's not a replacement for self-knowledge and philosophy, but what it does do, it, it, it makes your, uh, it gives you a good opportunity to go do that thing. Now you can hit, you don't, it doesn't have to be hitchhiking. It can be any number of things, but giving yourself the time to really like think about your life, I think is important. And for me, that was hitchhiking. And for you, that might be something else. So, yes, yeah, that is a relatively quick video, I think, um, in comparison to what it could be. Um, I, uh, I thank you so much for watching. I, uh, if you are so inclined, you may ask a question yourself on anywhereblog.net with the, the ask a question button on top. And please feel free to subscribe uh, down below. I don't know where you are, so do whatever you need to to subscribe that way you can get some updates when the next video comes out and before we go 